Hello friends, in this video we will learn about constitution and reconstitution of dry powder for oral solution and suspension. These questions are little complicated so it is very very important that you understand in exam what examiner is actually asking in question. Once you understand it then you will get the right answer for sure. So let's begin the topic. Before moving to the sample questions, I would like you to understand the concept of constitution and reconstitution that why we use it in pharmacy. We use it due to several reasons like to prevent loss of drug potency, to enhance the shelf life of the drugs, to enhance the stability of the product. Let's say we take an antibiotic. Usually manufacturer provide antibiotic in dry powder form to the pharmacy. In dry powder form the product stay stable up to 24 months but if you dissolve it in water or any other suitable diluent then the stability of the product will be 10 days at room temperature or 14 days in refrigerator. So to enhance the shelf life, to enhance the stability, to make it more potent until the consumer consume it, these are the main reasons that the manufacturer provide antibiotics or other drugs in dry form and we have to constitute uh, before dispensing to the patient. Now we will move to the questions. Our first question is after the composition of a dry powder, each 5 ml of ampicillin for oral suspension contains 250 mg of ampicillin in package size to prepare 100 ml, 150 ml or 200 ml of suspension. Which package size should be dispensed for a 20 kg child who is to take 50 mg per kg per day total 4 times a day in equally divided and spaced doses for 10 days? In this question, first we will find how much the total amount we will dispense. So calculate the total dose of the child. The the dose mentioned in the question is 50 mg per kg per day. So we took 50 mg. Since the child weight is 20 kg, so we put 20 kg. Do not get confused with QID or 4 days because this is per day dose. So you have to, it's up to you to divide it BID, TID or 4 times a day. Okay, so we will not get confused with this letters. We will, we are calculating per day dose. So for 10 days, we multiply everything and we got 1000, 10,000 milligrams. Now determine the package size. Now we have to determine which package size like 100 ml, 150 ml or 200 ml we have to dispense. So here, 250 milligram is in 5 milliliters and we, we want to dispense 10,000 milligram. So how much milliliters we want? When we calculate it, we got 200 milliliters. That is the 200 milliliters of suspension we will dispense to that patient. Let's move to the next question. The table, the label for a dry powder package of Cefproxil, Cef, Cefzil for oral suspension directs the pharmacist to add 72 milliliters of purified water to prepare 100 milliliters of suspension. If the package contain 2.5 grams of cefproxil, how many milligrams of the drug would be contained in each teaspoon full dose of a constituted suspension? Now here you see teaspoon full. So obviously first we will convert 1 teaspoon is equals to 5 milliliters. Now we have according to the question 2.5 grams in 100 milliliters. Then how much gram will be in 1 teaspoon that is 5 milliliters. When we calculate everything we got 
we got 0.125 grams or 125 milligrams this is the simple way up to this point we used to solve our question in this way but in exam to save your time try to do this question like this if 2.5 grams are in 100 milliliters and we want our answer in milligrams so 1000 milligrams will be in 1 gram then one teaspoon full has five milliliters we put all these things all together and we got 125 milligrams per teaspoon full this is called dimensional analysis and it is the quick way to solve your question in exam to save your time now let's move to the next question the first part of the question says label instructions for an ampicillin product call for the addition of 78 milliliters of water to make 100 milliliters of constituted suspension such that each 5 milliliters contain 125 milligrams of ampicillin calculate the volume of dry powder in the product and the total content of ampicillin First, the volume of the tri powder obviously when you add 78 ml it make 100 ml so we will subtract 78 ml to 100 ml we got 22 milliliters then the total drug ampicillin present in the final product we have 125 milligrams in 5 milliliters and x grams in 100 milliliters when we calculate everything we got 2500 milligrams now the second part of this question says using the product in the previous example if a physician desires an ampicillin concentration of 5 sorry 100 milligram in 5 milliliters rather than 125 milligrams per 5 liter 5 milliliters how many milliliters of water should be added to the dry powder because it was determined that 2500 milligrams of ampicillin are in the dry product the volume of the product that can be made with a concentration of 100 milligrams per 5 milliliters may be calculated as 5 milliliters in 100 milligram then how much milliliters we need for 2500 milligrams when we calculate it we got 125 milliliters then because it had been determined that the dry powder occupies 22 milliliters of volume it is possible to determine the amount of water to add so 125 milliliters minus 22 milliliters is equals to 103 milliliters mm. that much amount of water we will add to the dry powder of ampicillin to make the concentration of 100 milligrams per 5 milliliters let's move to the next question our next question says the label of a bottle of dry powder mix for constitution states that when 128 milliliters of water are added 125 milliliters of an oral suspension containing 2500 oh sorry 250 milligrams of ampicillin in each 5 milliliter results uh, part a ask how many milliliters of water should be added to the dry powder mix if a uh, strength of 150 milligram of ampicillin per 5 milliliters is desired let's solve it so we know that in 150 milliliters we add sorry in 128 milliliters sorry uh, in 150 milliliters we add 128 milliliters so first we will find the previous volume of ampicillin that is 22 milliliters when we subtract it then if we have 25 to 50 milligrams in 5 milliliters then how much milligrams will be in 150 milliliters when we calculate it we got 7500 milliliters of ampicillin now further 
150 milliliters, uh, 150 milligrams per 5 milliliters, then how much ml will be required for 7500 milligrams? When we calculated, we got 250 milliliters. Since we know that the initial value, initial volume was 22 milliliters, then we will subtract it from 250 milliliters and the total amount of water we will add will be 228 milliliters of water. Next part of the same question, if the dose of ampicillin is 5 milligrams per kg of body weight, how many milliliters of water should be added to the dry powder mix so that a child weighing 66 pound would receive the proper dose of each milliliters of the suspension? You can guess first we will find the dose. So if a child is 66 pound that will be equals to 30 kg and if 5 milligram is for 5 uh, so sorry 5 milligrams is for 1 kg then a 30 kg person will get 150 milligram per ml. So if there is 150 milligram per ml how much it will be for 75 7500 milligram when we calculate it we got 50 milliliters we subtract 22 milliliters which was the initial volume of dry powder mix from the 50 milliliters we got 28 milliliters of water to add in the final dose next question next question we have a manufacturer's directions call for the addition of 90 milliliters of water to constitute a 150 milliliter container of cefaclor to yield a strength of 250 milligrams of cefaclor per 5 milliliters if 60 milliliters of water were mistakenly added in constituting the product calculate the resultant milligram of cefaclor per 5 milliliters so first we will find the initial amount of cefaclor that is 150 which was final one and 90 ml which we added which manufacturer said to add when we subtract it we got 60 milliliters of cefaclor then total amount of cefaclor in 150 milliliters we have 250 milligrams 5 milliliters that was mentioned in the question then we want to find how much in 150 milliliters we got 7500 milligrams once we know that then if mistakenly 60 milliliters were added instead of 90 then the total amount will be 120 instead of 150 milliliters okay so this 60 was from the initial amount of cefaclor and this 60 which was added accidentally then the concentration will be if we know that 7500 milligram were initially in 150 milliliters but accidentally now it is in 120 milliliters then how much amount will be in 5 milliliters we got 312.5 milligrams of cefaclor that's the answer let's see next question the label of a dry powder for oral suspension states that when 111 milliliters of water were added to the powder 150 milliliter of suspension containing 250 milligrams of ampicillin per 5 milliliter were prepared how many milliliters of purified water should be used to prepare in each 5 milliliters of the product to correct the correct dose of ampicillin for a 60 pound child based on the dose of 8 milligram per kg of body weight now you can see here how much information they have given in question in exam you will get exactly same very confusing question so you have to understand each and every line and step now let's see the solution first we will find the total 
amount which we will give to the child so the dose is 8 milligram per kg and the child is 60 pound and 1 kg is equals to 1 divided by 2.2 pound we got 218.2 milligrams then the amount of ampicillin in the container we determine by if 250 milligrams are in 5 milliliters then how much will be in 150 milliliters that we got 7500 7500 milligrams continue thus the amount of product that can be made from 7500 milligram of drug such that each 5 ml contain 218 milligram of the drug found by if we have 218 milligram in each 5 ml then uh, 7500 milligram will be present in 172 milliliters finally because the volume of powder occupies 39 milliliters how do we get it 150 minus 111 milliliter when you minus it you will get 39 milliliters which is the initial amount of powder the amount of powder uh, the amount of water which we will add will be 172 minus 39 and we got 133 milliliters that's much amount we will add to the water next question the label of a dry powder for constitution into pediatric drop states that when 12 milliliters of purified water are added to the powder 15 milliliters of a pediatric suspension containing 50 milligram of amoxicillin per milliliter results how many milliliters of water should be added to prepare the dose of amoxicillin in each 10 drops if the dropper deliver 20 drops per milliliter the child has a body surface area of 0.4 meter square and the dose of the drug is based on 50 milligram per meter square of body surface area let's see the solution the dose of amoxicillin may be determined by if we have 50 milligrams per meter square of body surface area then how much we, we will need for 0.4 meter square body surface area we got 20 milligrams then the volume of the product to contain 20 milligram dose is determined by if 1 milliliter is in 20 drops then how much milliliter will be in 10 drops obviously 0.5 milliliters the amount of amoxicillin in the package is determined by 50 milligrams per milliliters then how much milligrams in 15 milliliters we got 750 milligrams the amount of product of the de desired dose that may be prepared is determined by xml in for 750 milligrams we got it here and then 0.5 milliliters we got and for 20 milligrams dose final we got 18.75 milliliters subtracting the volume accounted by the dry powder when 15 milliliters minus 12 milliliters we got 3 milliliters the volume of water we will add in uh, to get the final dose for the child will be 18.75 milliliters minus 3 milliliters we got 15.75 milliliters that's it thanks for watching please like share and subscribe bye for now